Alright guys, I thought I would uh, make a little rant video here for one of a term. Um, I was looking up videos on uh, Donald Trump, right, and this uh, big election obviously for presidency in the States. And this one video, right, it was for voting for Donald Trump. It was just so funny. Right, the reason it was so funny, sorry, um, was the fact that, right, this, <laughs> this broad, after she put up this video, I had a look at, I listened to it and, I, and then I had a look at the, um, likes and dislikes, but it has 21,000 likes to get this right, and this makes me quite happy actually, 195,000 dislikes, the video's title was uh, why you should vote for Donald Trump, the truth, um, okay, let's, let's look at the truth, no I'm kidding on, <laughs> I'm just pretty much going to be putting, Putting out my two cents, my opinions, um, and my thoughts on it, and well, it's pretty straightforward, really. Um, I personally think that Donald Trump is the poster boy for the KKK. Um, legitimately, after looking at uh, what he says and uh, the way he just comes across, he just comes across as an arrogant prick. I think, but more than that, he comes across as slightly biggest. Um, racist, eh, uh, <laughs> you, you name it, really, um, I don't know, right, now, I've not watched every video on Donald Trump, right, but, from my understanding, he likes to talk about his wealth, yes, because the average fucking American cares about how much money you've got, right, like, m maybe that's how you Americans roll, and I just don't know it, but the last time I checked, I was more interested in how much money I have. How much money I'm making. I don't give a shit about him. That's good for him, you've got a gazillion dollars, well done. You gonna give me some of it? No? Didn't think so. No, fuck you. Um, nah, but I'm not saying he has, I'm not really saying he has to give hand out. But what I'm saying is the fact that, like, that's not gonna, that's not gonna win you votes. Because, think about it. He's going to look out for rich people, isn't he? Which means that he's going to screw over the poor. So, or not even just the poor, but the working class is going to get screwed over if he gets voted in. Um, the reasons not to vote him in, I just think, just keep stacking up. Because that wasn't even a reason I had thought of until just now. Um, but I mean, literally though, he is, to me, the poster boy for the KKK. And... He may very well actually be a member of the KKK, that I'm not sure of. And I suppose, unless something comes out, we'll never know. But I just I just want anyone who's thinking about voting him in, to just think about that for a second. This guy could be a legit member of the KKK, and you want to consider giving him power? Like, is it just me that thinks that's completely nuts? I hope not. Um, what else did I want to point out? Right, so yes, <laughs> just some of the comments though was funny as well, but I've got to ask a legit question though, why, why, why would you want to vote Donald Trump? Right, first of all, if you vote Donald Trump, you're basically asking for another 9-11, right? Now, I know that that's probably just too saying that's going to get me a lot of hate, but I mean, Legitimately, guys, like, just think about it. It's very well going to cause the next 9-11 if he gets in power. So, my question to the American people is this. Do you really want a 9-11? Again? I mean, just just think for a second, guys, how, how you felt when you heard about the 9-11, about the Twin Towers. Just, just think for a second, how did that make you feel? Okay? Now, if you ban all the Muslims... You're going to create extremists. Now, here's the thing. IS is bad enough. But who's to say that one of these extremists isn't worse? Doesn't start, doesn't become the next Hitler. That just seeks to end America. Right, so I think that these are some serious things that have to be considered. Right. Now, I'm just going off of what he has said, right. Like, he was saying about building a wall. Um... To block out the Mex, like, well, not to block out the Mexicans, but to um, block out like the illegal immigrants, which 
Well, first of all, right, I can understand why, right, fair enough, on the kind of trying to get rid of the illegal immigrants, right, but I don't agree with the fact that, like, um, I don't know if this was, this clip was maybe taken out of context, but he said, um, he was talking about them, uh, talking about the, uh, I believe it was the uh, illegal immigrants coming from Mexico, and he was saying about how, um, or criminals and or this and or that and then he says now this part really got to me right and I really thought oh my god how the fuck did he get to where he is right and that is he's like that I assume that some of them aren't this bad you, you, you assume that you're you're just gonna assume that yeah I'm sorry but I would have to say definitively not all people from Mexico not all people with Hispanic blood are criminals, like just period, like I can't I can't believe he actually used the word assume, like I get the fact that he's not the, uh, no he's not even politically correct, really, like actually maybe he is politically correct, maybe I'm just getting that part wrong, but we're gonna, we're just gonna go with he's politically correct, right, um, but I mean like are you, are you actually shitting me though, like you're gonna make a comment like that, like my question is this, like legitimately how did this guy get to where he is, and it, it does come across as though he really likes talking about his wealth, and I'm not going to lie, if I had that kind of money, damn right, I'd like to talk about it, but I'm not expecting people to like me for it, like, that's just retarded, and I mean, like, come on guys, like, if you're really thinking about voting Donald Trump in, and do me a favour, and just stop watching my video, and don't ever, ever, ever come back to this channel, or talk to me again, please, I would rather, I would rather live in the streets, than acknowledge your existence, if you're voting Donald Trump, period. That's, there is no f but answer, maybe he's in that. Right? To me, he is scum. Now, in fact, no, I take that back. And I'll tell you why I take it back. I think that's insulting scum. <laughs> no, but, um, like, generally though, guys, like, seriously, I, I don't know why anybody would ever vote for him. Like, ever. Like, okay, maybe, maybe he's exaggerating a little, right? Which I would, I would truly hope to God that he is. But, if you're going to come out and make statements like, um, let's ban all Muslims, are, are you fucking kidding me? Like, I'm sorry, but if you don't see that as creating extremists, then you're just stupid, right? You're talking about essentially exiling people from your country, right? Like, are you, are you actually kidding me on here? Are we still in this day and age? Like, is this, is this really the sort of thing that's going to go on in this day and age? Like, I honestly think that they should just change the, I don't know if it's a rule or a law, but, yeah, I think they should just let Obama stay in. And I don't, obviously, uh, I don't really have a say in it, because I'm not an America and I'm not an American. But, I mean, like, if it's an option between Donald Trump and Obama, are, are you fucking kidding me? That's no competition, Obama all the way. And apparently he had a big thing about Obama's birth certificate. Like, Why? Like, why are you so worried about his birth certificate? Like, I mean, he's spending more time working on... Well, first of all, right, he's obviously... He's going to be looking out for the rich, you know what I mean? Because he's rich. He's hardly going to screw over the rich people if he's rich, right? He's hardly going to make the rich people pay more taxes because, again, he's rich. Which means then that if any tax increases come in, it's not going to hit the rich, it's going to hit the poor. It's going to hit the working class. It's going to hit the people who have the lower incomes. And that's something... That you don't have to think about, I think. Now, I'm not going to lie, right? I really don't follow politics that much. Um, particularly for one reason. Politicians are full of shit. Don't give, I don't give a shit what country it is. I don't give a shit what language they speak. I don't give a shit what colour they are. What nationality they are. They all talk shit. Like, you can't trust a politician, right? Well... Yeah, you can't trust a politician, and yet I'm getting, I'm gonna kind of go back on that, and I'm gonna say that um, I I wouldn't run, I wouldn't like to run the risk of Donald Trump being the one who you can trust. Like, I mean, he might, he might very well stick to what he says, but as far as I'm concerned, I would rather put someone in who's gonna, who's basically just gonna feed me a load of bullshit, and just do what they want, because as far as I'm aware, there's no other parties really that support Donald Trump. The only people I can think of that support him, or the stuff that he agrees with, would be, again, the KKK. 
Which again brings me back to my point. Are, are you shitting me here? Like he's like the poster boy for the KKK. I, I don't think anything more needs to be said than just that. That just felt like making a longer video and having a wee rant. But yeah, um, I really don't think that it should take any more than just that. Like maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I've got it completely wrong. Maybe he's a. Well, maybe he's just fantastic. Maybe everything that I've heard is uh, propaganda. But I highly doubt it. But, and he wants to build a wall. Like, I, you think a wall is going to stop illegal immigrants? You, you legitimately think a wall is going to stop them? Are you shitting me? And, I read the bit, in my opinion, the best comment on YouTube, right, for this kind of thing. And that was the fact that, um, right, this person was agreeing with Donald Trump. And this other person just puts in the comments, like, if it wasn't for aliens, uh, then, well, America would just be filled with Native Americans. And it's like, well, exactly. Like, what, what more do you need than that, you know? It's like, when, when I have an argument with an American, they'll usually come out with something like, um, are you British faggot? And it's like, mate, you understand that, like, half your country fucking has British blood in them. You understand that, right? Like, you near enough just insulted your own country, including yourself. <laughs> I just find that funny, as. But, yeah, um... I'm trying to think if there was any other points that I wanted to make... ...on this. Yeah, um... If... If America does somehow... ...become stupid and... ...fucking vote this Donald Trump guy in... ...then... ...and I'm right... And this does cause the next 9-11. You're not going to get any sympathy from me. I will only sympathise for those who did not vote for Donald Trump. The rest, as far as I'm concerned, are as guilty as the people who would do it. Now, I know that sound, that comes across as harsh and cold and for this, that and the other. But, I mean, like, if you can't see this happening, then you're either really naive or really stupid. But legitimately though, guys, like, right, if you tell them, alright, you got to up sticks and get out because of your religion, well, what do you think is going to happen? What do you think? They're just going to go, down? oh, okay, no bother, and just go. I mean, anyone who's watching this, if you have a kid, I want you to just think, right, for a second, if you had to tell your kid, alright, we need to go, we need, we need to get up, you're going to need to say goodbye to all your friends, you're going to need to say goodbye to the, everything you know, and then how do you explain that? How do you explain why? Because the American people don't want us? Because the American people think that we are terrorists? Like, I mean, just just think about how you would explain that to your child. And never mind that, just think about how, how that's going to look. Now, as far as I'm concerned, I honestly think that there's a great potential that if you vote Donald Trump, you, America will become the most hated country in the world. You'll be known as racists, you'll be known as bigots, and you'll be known as scum. Just general scum. Now, I've got friends who are American, and I've got friends who are Islamic as well, and uh, neither of them are, fall under these categories. Neither of them are terrorists, and neither of them are scum. But unfortunately, if the American people were to vote Donald Trump in, that's how the world's going to view them. And there's not really much you can do about that. Except not vote for them. Um, I'm trying to think, is there any other points that I wanted to make on this? I don't think there was. I think that pretty much covers it. Um, actually, no it doesn't, sorry. Um, another little point I wanted to make was that Donald Trump, he's a successful businessman, yes. Right, now, to become a successful businessman, you need to have slight sociopathic tendencies. Now, what I mean by this is that you have to be prepared to make some cold-hearted decisions. You know, like, when you cut back jobs, you have to be fully prepared on the fact that you're kicking people out in the streets. There are people who are going to become homeless because of your actions. And that's, that's not something that I think the average, the average person can handle. That toll would, I think, drain a lot of people considerably, on a day-to-day -day basis, live, trying to live with that. 
Donald Trump doesn't seem to have any problem with it. But, and that's what I mean, like, if he's so willing to throw out the Muslims, well, who's next? What, the blacks? Is that, is that what he's going to do next? Let's get rid of all the blacks. Let's get rid of all the Chinese. Let's get, and then what? Then what's he going to do? Let's get rid of all the Native Americans? Like, are you shitting me here? I mean, what Donald Trump needs to do is take a good long look in the mirror, to be honest with you. And I don't mean in the fact that I, um, I just mean simply for the fact that he's not a Native American. Do you know what I mean? Like, so, if anything, I think America should vote just anybody else. I really don't care who else, just not him. Like, I mean, I... I couldn't even begin to imagine why anybody would consider to vote him. Like, well, don't get me wrong, uh, there's a few groups of people I can see voting for him. That would be the uh, Westboro Baptist Church, which is the most hated family in America, last I heard. Um, but also, the KKK. Now, just, just, just think for a second there, guys, right? Would you really want to be associated with a party that's involved in the KKK? Hell, for all we know, Donald Trump is a member of the KKK. Like I said, in my opinion, a lot of what he says and what he appears to believe lines up exactly with the KKK. Now, I know he's not came out and said, oh yeah, let's lynch all the black people, right? White power and all that. But I mean, like, seriously, he may as well have. In fact, to be honest with you, they're probably been better off doing it. <laughs> nah, no, I'm kidding on about that, no. I don't condone any sort of racism in any way, shape or form. Unless it's friendly banter, but then that, be that my eyes becomes friendly banter. No, but I mean, like, um, I'm always wrong. Eh, uh, no, but seriously though, like, please, please tell me that nobody's actually considering voting for this guy. Like, like I said, I've got some, I've got friends from the US. No, they seem like uh, decent, intelligent people. Don't get me wrong, if they vote for Donald Trump, that's going to change. Um, I'm going to classify them as idiots, delete them, block them, and probably report them. <laughs> um, I don't know what I'm reporting them for, but. Just being stupid, I guess. No, but I mean, like, seriously, though, guys, like, please, for the love of God, don't ever, ever, ever vote for Donald Trump. Like, I honestly don't know why anybody would want to. But I mean, like, what was it? Uh, I seen a clip where he turns around and he's like, uh, I don't hate the Chinese. In fact, I just sold a house for X amount of dollars to someone who's Chinese. So, what you're saying is that you like the Chinese because they made you money? Are, 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 are you shitting me in this one? It's not because they're people, it's not because they bleed just like you and I, it's because they made him money. That's why he doesn't like them, so, or he does like them even. So, what, you tell me that you wouldn't like them if they didn't make you money? Like, and then another one's the fact, right, like, someone's going on about, oh yeah, all these immigrants are coming in and taking our jobs and that. Right, listen, first of all, there are a lot of people who are unemployed not even trying to get a job, right? Not even looking, like, the, the furthest attempt they'll make is they'll maybe go on the website, go on country, type in fucking, I don't know, like, jobs, and then scroll through the first page. No, nope, nothing else. And then that's it. You know what I mean? Most people are really like that. In every country, not just America. Like, that. this is just, obviously, this sounds like I'm hating on uh, America. It almost sounds like I'm hating on Donald Trump. And, like I said, these are my opinions, right? In my opinion, he is the poster boy for the KKK. In my opinion, he is low and scum. And in my opinion, he's just, well, a prick. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry, but yeah. In my opinion, he's just a prick. Um, straight up. Um, but like I said, I just, I thought that was absolutely hilarious though, that video. Right, just think about this for a second, guys, right now. That's a 10 to 1 ratio. That means that for every person that liked the video, there were 10 people that didn't. Roughly. Right? It's not an exact number, but yeah. But, seriously though guys, like, if you vote Donald Trump in as president, America will probably become the most hated country in the world. And you're just going to open yourself up to so much terrorism. Do you know what I mean? It's like, you look at France at the moment, right? Now, shit's been going down all over in France. All sorts of stuff. And even the French haven't turned around and said, oh yeah, let's just ban the Muslims. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's, like I said, that's just going to create extremists. 
all you're going to do then is work in their favour. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot about one more group that would vote for Donald Trump, and that would be ah yes. Just think about it for a second here, right, guys? Right, so you vote Donald Trump, right? He kicks out all the Muslims. Okay, well that's just made ah yes's job of chain of converting them to extremism even more. Like you, but you basically just fucking created yourself terrorists. And I mean, what, just first of all, what would it say about our society, right? 2016. And there's a possibility that the poster boy for the KKK could be the President of the United States of America? Are you shitting me? Like, at this day and age, we should be looking at the KKK being a thing of a past. We should be looking at racism, homophobia, we should be looking at all these things as a thing of the past. I know obviously I'm gonna have to wait for some generations to die out before we can get to that point, but I mean like, seriously, like, why on earth would you vote for Donald Trump in any way, shape or form? Please let me know in the comments below if you're gonna vote for him and why. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, right, I haven't gone massively in depth with this into my research. But I'm just going off of what I've heard, right? Like, I've never sat down with Donald Trump and had a one-on-one -on -one with him. And to be honest with you, I don't think that would be a good idea. Because I really don't see him walking away from that. Not that not that I'm advocating violence. I'm just saying that, well, I don't think I could restrain myself. But yeah, guys, um, I know this is quite a serious topic. I know I've went on quite a bit. But I just... I just felt this had to be made. Um, originally I wasn't even going to make this video, this was just something that I thought of today. But, um, yeah, at first when I was watching this first video, right, I was thinking to myself, oh my god, oh my god, please, please tell me that, that the American people aren't actually considering voting in this guy. And then I looked at the like to dislike ratio and I thought, thank fuck. But here's something that I want to point out, right, it's the fact of this video was on YouTube, which is global. Right, and like I said, it had a 10 to 1 ratio of likes to dislikes, well, dislikes to likes, right? So there was 10 dislikes to every like, basically. Now, that should just say it right there, right, guys? Like, if you vote Donald Trump in, the world's going to hate you. You understand that? The world is going to hate you. And it's, right... You see, what I think Donald Trump's actually trying to get to, right, with this whole Mexico thing... In the Mexicans is Juarez in particular. Now Juarez is a city in Mexico that borders America. It is known as the most dangerous city on the planet. Um, if you haven't seen it, I would suggest that you look at Ross Kemp's Extreme World Juarez. Now, throughout his duration there, I believe it worked out as an average of somewhere between three to six people were murdered every day that he was there. That they know of. Now, when I say that, they know of, we're talking about bodies in the street. We are not talking about they heard it on the news, or they had an interview with a police officer, and they told them, I mean, bodies in the street. I mean, legitimately, like, it's like, I was, when you play the division, and, they're talk, and the guy's talking in the radio, right, and he's like, oh, yeah, there's bodies everywhere, bodies all over the streets. That, this is an actual thing, guys. Right, now... Like I said, right, now, one of the comments that this chick made, I'm not going to put, I'm not going to mention who it is, right, because, well, I believe that someone in this level of stupidity deserves to have their identity remain secretive. Um, but one of the comments she made was, Donald Trump makes me feel safe. Are you kidding me? Like I pointed out, if anything, he should make you feel terrified. Because... Look at what's look at the potential here. Just think about it for a second, guys, right? Now, and tell me if you don't agree with me, right? That if you were to kick out all the Muslims, that you wouldn't be creating terrorists. I'm not saying that all of them are gonna become terrorists. But what I'm gonna say is that there would be a lot of them who wouldn't have even considered it. Now, if this was if you were to vote him in, it would be a thought that would cross their mind. And that in itself 
I think it's the bombshell that we should finish this on. <laughs> nah, but yeah, guys, like I said, it has been quite a serious talk. Um, like I said, most of these points are either quotes or my own opinion. Majority of it's just my opinion. But yeah, I just want to finish on something that uh, <laughs> someone posted on YouTube, right? It was one of the comments. Donald Trump equals Hitler 2.0. I personally wouldn't say it was as bad. I, I personally would say he's the postal boy for the KKK. And again, no, just look at the KKK's viewpoints. And what he said. KKK are against white, or against non-whites. He wants to get rid of the Muslims. I'm not saying that all Muslims are non-white, but Muslims are, the religion is associated with non-whites, for want of a term. And unfortunately, it's starting to get a bad reputation. And I want to make sure that nobody here, or I hope that when you leave this video, you won't have a bad reputation of Muslims, okay? Because, like I said, I know people who are Muslim, who are Islamic. They're intelligent, they're bright, hard-working, well-educated, and non-violent. Right? But yet, yeah, Donald Trump wants to start World War fucking 3. Do you really want to be involved in World War 3? Do you really want to have to be tell your child? Yeah, um, see this such and such incident that happened, the bombings here, or the bombings there. Yeah, that's because we voted Donald Trump in. Of course, they would never say that, but I'm not going to lie, I would make a YouTube video of it. No matter how much hate I got for it, I would put a YouTube video up saying, you just caused this. Actually, no, I would put Donald Trump caused this. <laughs> no, but seriously, guys, please, please tell me that you nobody's actually considering voting for this guy. Except from the extreme groups that I was referring to, Westboro Baptist Church, the KKK, IS, I'm, I think we should just call them IS. Ah yes, it is. Pfft. Do you know what I mean? Or in fact, they just called them T's for terrorists. Do you know what I mean? Why should they dictate what they're called? To them. So uh, I'm trying to keep it reasonably civil. And I have went on for about half an hour. So for that, I apologise, guys. But I do hope you've enjoyed the video. And I know this is quite a serious topic. 